Hi, I'm Professor Jan Bell, and I'm here at Potomara University to help with the um, design of curriculum. And what I'm really concerned with is making sure that entrepreneurial thought and action gets into the curriculum. Entrepreneurial thought and action is a method that's used by entrepreneurs. And it's a little different than the scientific method. What we've learned from research is that entrepreneurs start with whatever means they have at hand. This could be their knowledge, it could be their network, and the, what passion that they've got. So they start with their means at hand and they decide what they want to pursue and what they can afford to lose. And instead of focusing maybe on what they'll gain, the maximum, it is what is the maximum amount that I can afford to lose as an entrepreneur. And what they do then is they enroll others from their network, they have soft goals, they allow others to participate with them to create um, the ultimate product or service that they're going to do. They design a series of small actions that they take that allow them to de-risk their opportunity. And then they learn, they take the action, sometimes they fail, they learn from what it is that they do, and they again adjust, they pivot. So this is a method of decision making and we feel that it can be taught. It's different than the scientific method. So one of our goals in curriculum design is to make sure that our students are ambidextrous. They can shift between the scientific method when things are well known and entrepreneurial thought and action when things are uncertain. So entrepreneurship is a discipline. It's like accounting or finance. It's a major that you take within a university. And entrepreneurial thought and action is a way of approaching problems that we expect all of our graduates to follow. When they find themselves in an environment where they have got a new product or a new service that they're bringing to a new market, that's very uncertain. And so what we do is we expect them to apply principles within whatever field it is they pursue. I happen to be in accounting, so I want my accounting students to be able to apply entrepreneurial thought and action to the projects that they get so that they can create new solutions that haven't been thought of before. That's different than starting a new venture, which is typically what we think about with entrepreneurship. With entrepreneurship, what we're concerned with is someone creating a new venture. With entrepreneurial thought and action, we want to embed a mindset in the student so that the student knows how to approach uncertain environments because much of the world today is uncertain. Babson has a unique approach to education. What we do is we use the curriculum, we use co-curricular activities, and we use the culture that we have at our institution to recognize that we're training the entire person, not just for the hours that they're in class involved with the courses that they're taking, but we try to immerse them into the entrepreneurial thought process. So I work with the curriculum fairly heavily, and the curriculum is different. Um, we are very action-oriented in what we do in our curriculum. In our curriculum, we start out with our students, all students, regardless of what their concentration is, accounting, finance, marketing, entrepreneurship, they start and stop a venture in the first year and they learn by doing. We sometimes provide the lesson after they've actually experienced it so they can understand what it is that we're trying to tell them. We don't simply focus on theory. Another thing that we do at Babson, which is quite different, is we integrate material. For example, I'm responsible for the sophomore year curriculum. I work with a team, and our team has developed a course. It's a major course of nine units, and it combines managerial accounting, 
organizational behavior, and operations. So students are analyzing cases, they're going through simulations, and they're looking at problems, not as a managerial accounting problem or a people problem or a problem with operations, they're looking at it as the complete package that it comes in and they understand that actions that they take will impact all three parts. It's going to have an impact on the financial results, it's going to have an impact on time to market, it's going to have an impact on the people who are involved in the organization. So this makes our curriculum unique. Additionally, co-curricularly, we have rocket launches where students learn to present their creative ideas to venture capitalists to try to win money in order to support the ideas that they have. Accountants, which is the area that I'm from, engage in these rocket launches. Their ideas may not make it because they may not be as creative, but sometimes they do. When they don't, they join entrepreneurial teams and they learn to support the entrepreneur. They learn to support the leader in a big organization who has a new project. So instead of simply focusing on the technical aspects and the theoretical aspects of the education, we have these co-curricular events where they live the life of being an entrepreneur, supporting an entrepreneur, supporting a leader in an organization who's trying to launch new projects and make change. So entrepreneurial thought and action is an interdisciplinary concept. It can permeate across any disciplinary field. You can be in hotel management, you can be in architecture, you can be an accountant, and you can still use entrepreneurial thought and action. It is our hope that we develop students, graduates, who are ambidextrous and can go between the normal scientific approach where you study an industry and you forecast from that to the entrepreneurial thought and action which is a very action oriented approach where you take an action and you learn from it and you apply it to the technical field that you're in. So we're trying to develop, regardless of the disciplinary background, a way of thinking and acting we want to go beyond theory and we want people to be able to apply entrepreneurial thought and action to their discipline so that they come up with creative solutions, solutions that haven't been thought of before, and hopefully they'll be able to figure out how to create jobs for society.